Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams and how to add um, filters, or Snapchat filters, into your video meetings. This will be a pretty um, quick tutorial but if you do find it useful please do hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel, it means a lot. Um, and with all that said let's jump on over to our desktop. Okay so the very first thing that you need to do is actually navigate over to Snapchat um, website or snapcamera.snapchat.com um, and then actually download the application here and what this will do is it will add a um, Snapchat filter tool to um, your operating system um, where you can then choose a webcam to actually apply um, Snapchat filters to. Um, so with that installed what you want to do is um, either wait for it to just load up or come over here and actually just load the application um, up from your start menu. Um, just give it a moment and it will start the application. Okay and with the application started the first thing that we want to do is actually navigate over to the settings uh, over in the top right hand corner. From here you get to choose your webcam. Um, so in my case I'm using the Poco Cam um, from my iPhone. Um, I get to choose the camera resolution, the microphone and a few other different settings here as well. Um, the main one to just point out is the optimize for green screen. So if you're using a green screen um, make sure that you have that um, ticked as on. Um, with that done we can now just go back and we can go through um, the various different um, filters that are available to us and there are a few categories to choose from so if you wanted something specific like such as funny and um, this will then load up all of the various funny related um, Snapchat filters that you can add to your webcam. Um, once you are happy you found a few that you like there's a top um, left hand corner there is a star icon. If you click that star it will add it into your filters in this top, uh, sorry your favorites in this top left hand corner here. Um, so I have three currently um, flagged as my favorites and I can flick easily between each of these um, filters as needed and they all apply those into my um, webcam. So what I'm going to do is because I have no um, camera input currently available here what I'm going to do is actually just going to force this to close so if anyone comes across this same error what you want to do is just close that down come down to your hidden um, tray down here find snap camera right click that and force quit and um, with that exited I can now reload the snap camera up um, on this application wait for it to load for a moment um, and this time it has found um, my webcam so now I can go ahead and add um, various different filters um, as I see fit um, into the particular camera. Okay so with all of that done there what I can now do is just minimize this uh, off the screen and go to Microsoft Teams. Uh, we'll just wait for Microsoft Teams to load. So what I'm going to do is just um, within one of my standard um, channels here for supply chain I'm just going to do a quick meeting um, and what I'm going to do is turn off my camera initially um, and then click meet now. I'm not going to invite anyone so I'm just going to close that one off. Um, right so the first thing I just wanted to point out here is you in order to see these filters in Microsoft Teams you want to go to more actions from the control bar, go to show device settings and then from the camera section over here you want to make sure that you're not just using your regular webcam but you are using the snap camera and um, so make sure ca snap camera is selected um, and then we can close those device settings and now we can activate the feed into our um, Microsoft Teams and now we are using the filters directly from our snap camera here in our, visual, uh, in our video meeting on Microsoft Teams and again I can just flick easily between these various filters um, as as I see fit. Um, obviously the Kermit the Frog one is supposed to be picking up my mouth movements but it's not doing a very good job um, of that but um, yeah you can easily just flick between the various different filters as you need them um, and it's just another way to kind of add a little bit of fun um, into your video meetings um, and that is it guys. Um, if you found this video useful then please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel and with all that said I'll catch you guys in the next video.